Pretty recently I did a video about various PCIe to M.2 adapter cards. So M.2 is this form factor for storage. PCI slot 3.0 by four lanes right here. And PCI 3 uh, by four lanes on the motherboard in an M.2 slot. So this is a ZND system. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, if you want to fit more than one in the motherboard or maybe you have two slots or even rare, might be like three or four. Uh, let's say your motherboard has only one M.2 slot and you want more. Well, Ampel Tech stepped in and that's the product I showed you that I purchased. So I had the Ampel Tech. I'm actually interested in using these for MVME pass-through on some uh, experiments I'm gonna be doing, including VMware vSAN. But anyhow, that's what the previous video is about. Today is about some further products that unsolicited uh, Amphaltech simply mailed to me. So I did not ask for these, but I can't say I'm disappointed to have them because I think there will be some interest in more of the product lines. So here's a box that came from Canada, directly from Amphaltech. And let's see what we have inside. They're going to move the distractions out of the way. Oh, that's an Angel Wings half height adapter, by the way. Let's move the previous adapter away. Let's just do one product at a time. So, hand contact. Let's see what model number of item this is. Not really sure yet. <clears throat> so, I believe we'll be looking at some sort of one by product. One by two, maybe? One PCI slot, two M.2 slots. I don't know, we'll see. Not seeing any kind of product name on the box. All right, Squid Gen 3 carrier board by four, meaning by four lanes. Uh, let's have a look at what this thing looks like. There's some really tough tape here. Wish I had scissors nearby, but I don't. <coughs> Uh, extremely small device, whatever it is. All right, including heatsink. All right, pretty cool. This is a very, very tiny device. Just gonna mention, I don't normally take anything from any vendor, unsolicited or otherwise, or asked for, because I wanna write about stuff that I'm interested in on my own time and on my own dime. Uh, this exception, I ended up at an alternative address set there for a while and ended up deciding instead of returning it to Canada, I'll end up just keeping them and fully disclose it when I'm talking about this de their devices. So this Amphiltech provided device here is super compact and it goes to 110. So there's some advantages right there over this ne nearby, what was it, Easy PC DIY, something like that, with a bright LED here. Looks nice. Um, but now actually it looks giant compared to what I'm holding here. So this stands up inside without replacing the PCIe back plate. So it's about as small as you can get. And it's got an offset. So yeah, it's going to hover right over the PCI slot not and get in the way of anything nearby. Um, probably going to be tool free again, like the last one I worked on from them. And yeah, that seems to be the case. Put that in, it's at the usual 15-20 uh, degree tilt, slide that down, and tighten. Alright, what else does this say? In addition, package includes heat sinks for each SSD module. So. So it's plural, but this is one in this particular box. They're saying, hey, they're giving me a piece of ceramic with a piece of peel-off tape. And we can put this on the hotspot, which has been featured in my previous videos. It's where the controller is. So I believe that was around here near the socket or the pins. So I'd want to look at my video if I were to put that on. Also, you're going to have some issues with the sticker and adhesion. These are meant to be permanent. So yeah, this is a passive design, no fan, 
but could provide a pretty interesting way to get cooling on a super compact system like this. Or actually for a display, like at a user group I'm speaking at this week, could be interesting because you can actually see the piece, the M.2 laying down the motherboard, a 960 Evo there. And just pop this guy on. Okay. Now we got a 950 Evo. With no screws needed, and the back plate is just uh, actually empty, so I could put my original metal back plate on there. I don't see it going anywhere. Um, I do have an interesting problem here. It looks like it might be shorting a couple of pins there on me. So, because of the way my motherboard is designed, whatever that jumper is, um, that's an issue. So let's take a look here. So they've given me a metal clip to give it a little extra um, friction when pushing this into the PCI slot. It's a very sturdy piece of metal. Uh, also you'll notice a little gap here. I can tighten that in further. All the way to the end. That's better. And now we've got a very slight amount of play, like half a millimeter that I've noticed before in the other videos, but obviously those pins are still connected just fine. So this metal piece is a concern for me here in that I have a, a dip switch potential issue with shorting pins. So what I would do would be to simply take one of these and put it on here and see if I can get some isolation from the pins actually touching. So this motherboard just so happens to have two particularly long unprotected pins and I don't have the motherboard manual near me to see what that would do if I were to short that. So that's something I'll need to look into. Let me get to the next Ampel Tech product. So not a showstopper, just something to be aware of. All right. Next box, obviously larger. Sort of product catalog. Oh, very nice pictures here. So it looks like uh, this one in the upper left we just opened up. Very nice design, but a metal clip that could be a little too long if you have nearby jumpers like this EMD. Um, okay, here's one with the fan design of my four design, but by two. And I suspect that's what we're about to look at. Very nice. We've got a perforated design here. Uh, again, we have a fan that blows on either side. Let's see if you can see that. Kind of hard to get the lighting and the focus to cooperate, but the fan is going to blow on either side of the printed circuit board. Looks like one third on this side and two thirds on that side. I don't know. Just something about the way the airflow is. Anyhow, very similar to that product, only we have one and two spots to put our M.2 drives, all the way up to 22 110 length. Let me grab one. So we're talking about 22 110, we're talking about supercapacitors or power loss protection. And that's where you get these longer M.2 drives. So you'll see this is a lot longer, right? So 2280, consumer size on the left, 22110, more enterprisey on the right. Sorry about that, that was off camera. There you go. That's your length comparison here. And you can see this design will allow for either. Same goes for here. Plug this in and lay it down. So in my case, we would need to move the post with a little Phillips over if we were to use that other size drive. All right, so just to wrap this up, I'm going to go ahead and move this over and grab the 950 Pro. I'll go ahead and install it here. Uh, oh, a nice big heatsink I'm noticing here too. 
So instead of ceramic here by the fan, we've got a heatsink here at the other end and the M.2 device over there with it, both of them receiving some sort of laminar airflow, which is what I noticed in the previous video, that the, the air definitely seems to move along the length of these boards quite nicely. Now, this board has no clips, no metal, so installing it in here is unlikely to be any issue at all. Um, okay, I did notice this is a full height plate. Not a worry because I just happen to have one nearby. So if we look at the screws in the offset, uh, looks like it should be fine. So something to be aware of. You want to make sure uh, the ordering bundle that you get, or the ordering SKU, has both low and full profile drives. So going back to the box, well, we've got empty antistatic bag, and we've got an empty box with some ceramic, not quite empty. So two more ceramic heat sinks, and they're telling you where to put it. Heat sink goes down near the pins. All right. So. It appears that simply taking out this bracket for the purposes of this video, just making sure we have no mechanical problems installing in the system is probably the way to go. Okay, simple enough. Lengthwise, you'll see there's quite a large difference in length. Um, does it fit easily, the long one, inside my Xeon D chassis? Uh, barely. So I wouldn't say the word easily. It fits. And it's not something you're going to be installing or removing all that often. So I don't really see that as a problem at all. Alright, so you saw this lays down on top like this. Thread the screw, get the threading started. Ridiculously simple, not a big deal. You don't want to jam a screw into the PCB or jam the screwdriver into the PCB, so I'd recommend going slowly and carefully. So we now have a fully assembled bracket with a low profile adapter on there, ready to go in the server. And again, because of this offset design with the PCI slot over a bit, it should be rather easy to fit into this system. So I can get a little bit more light for you here. Anything's better. There we go. All right, you're not quite seeing what I'm seeing because of the angle of the camera. So let me just slide it up a little bit. So if we look here. All I gotta do is make sure the PCI is lined up nicely. And right there, I'm looking at the teeth and I'm binding slightly on, I think, the socket where the back plate goes. So let me just rest it down and get this seated in there. Okay, that's it. Back plate is in. We are clearing the speaker terminal here, so that's good. The wires are getting chafed. It's done. So now it's just a matter of one more screw, seating this back down, making sure to finish this installation video to make sure this goes smoothly into my particular Xeon D system, which is a rather popular virtualization platform for home lab enthusiasts. All right, so there we have it. A way to install two M.2 devices. Each can be individually passed through an ESXi 65.0A, by the way. Um, you just pick it and say which one you want to pass through, and then you can assign it to a VM. So 
that's it. That's the end of this physical look at Amfeltex Gen 3 product line. Um, you've now seen all three installed. Just for comparative sizes here, let me just bring them out one more time and show you how they all look right next to each other. So, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.